You got to learn how to fight for your man. Fight for that man. Speak life to that man. Baby, you the finest thing I ever seen. I don't want nobody else. I need you to come home. I got something on. It's called nothing. Come see me. We need some warfare wives, some wilderness wives, some women with enough strength and delicacy to carry the destiny of a great man. He come in from being on the mountain 40 days. Where you been, Moses? <laughs> Baby, I was in, up on you. Oh, save it. 40 days you've been gone, just walk in, face all glowing. <laughs> Baby, this the glory. Shut up, Moses. That's makeup. Don't play with me. Promises, promises. God decides to speak again to a man named Abram in the 16th chapter of Genesis. Now, he had already spoken to him in the 15th chapter. He told him what he was going to do. Told him, you and your wife, you're going to have a baby. But I'm old. I don't care. It's going to come to pass. That doesn't make sense. I promised it. If I promised it, it has to happen. You are not even allowed to die until you see what God promised you. So if sickness is in your body, it's a lie because you got a promise. Cancer is a lie. You got a promise. Diabetes is a lie. You got a promise. Kidney issues is a lie. You have a promise. Bladder issues a lie. Promise. Cyst on the ovaries is a lie. You got a promise. No matter what it is that's been plaguing you, it is a lie because you have a promise and you will live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. And I know I'm speaking to someone. Somebody say promises, promises. Especially because this really was about, you know, the night was, was billed as singles night, but it's really family night. But to the singles, it's hard a lot of times for you to be believing God. I, Lord, I've been believing you, Lord, for some years now, Jesus. I'm just, I, was, I was believing. I'm Esther, Lord. I'm just, I'm just whatever. I'm Ruth. I'm just whoever you want me to be, Jesus. I'm, just, I'm, at the, I'm at the foot of the bed. I'm in the field, Lord. I'm just, I thresh wheat. What I need to do. Just, I've been waiting. Where are you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lift my voice. I'm just, I'm mad. You know, my emotions, you know what I'm saying? My eggs, they about to just, they just old. My eggs is old. My baby going to come out and talk about, Mah! Lord, what you going to do? I'm 34 years old, Jesus. He like, talk to Sarah. I need you to understand, your eggs are in my hands. I renew your youth like the eagle. I, I, I declare the end from the beginning. I know where I'm taking you. I'm ready for liftoff, Jesus. I need you to just launch me into the arms of my man. He said, I got to be careful because rockets don't have reverse. And I got to be careful where I launch you and when I launch you because only I know where I'm landing you. And every place that you think is good ain't a safe place to land. And to my singles, trust God because he knows where he's landing you. I know it seems like a long process and, and you see somebody that you like and he won't pay you no attention. Don't worry. God put blinders on him because that ain't the landing place. Somebody needs to praise God right there. Just because they look solid on the surface doesn't mean they have the substance for the weight of your purpose. He looks good from a distance, but if you landed there, he would collapse under the oil that you're called to carry. Where somebody else may not have all the shine, but he's got a foundation in the word. He's got a substance in the Holy Ghost. He's got a root. I need somebody to praise God right there. I know I'm preaching. Am I all right, Pastor? Stop looking at the cosmetics. Same thing with the men of God. He that finds a wife 
Fine means to discern. You can't spot her in the flesh. Charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. It's nice that she looks good. It's better if she is good. Because there's some beautiful, rotten, spirited, unclean, unholy women will take a man out of his destiny and you'll be a shell of yourself. She's a seed thief. She can't produce anything for you. She's an empty receptacle designed to keep you in a perpetual state of brokenness and your manhood is left wanting. All she's designed to do is to cut your name off from the earth and you're a living zombie. You couldn't have a legacy with her if you tried. She couldn't give you a... Uh, you need men of God who are single to find a woman with the favor factor. See, a wife is a favor factor. When you spot a woman that with everything about her just blessed, whatever she touches is blessed, you better go and put a bullseye and say, God, that's my kind of woman right there because she got favor already on her. And you said if I find a wife, I find favor. And she don't walk around with a spirit of girlfriend on her. She's got the presence of a wife. And I'm going to pursue that. When you get her, you get a favor factor. God, breathes on everything you do. Ah! Your wife is your favor factor. I'm a living witness. I went from single 37, trusting God, to 39, married with one and one on the way, and now an associate pastor at the largest church in this country. How did God do it? It wasn't my education. It wasn't my connections. It was the fact that I was obedient to marry favor. If you would like to purchase this message in its entirety, visit our website, kivcc.org. Click on the bookstore tab, then click shop. Every one of your purchases will help to make the difference in building God's kingdom one family at a time.